then next heading is equity swaps now to me this is kind of the easiest set of questions to handle so this equity swap could be anything okay for example it could be like this there is one party which is paying fixed rate and it is receiving returns on equity okay so this is this now becomes fixed to equity or there is one party which is playing floating rate and it will receive returns on equity so one side of the leg is going to be equity so we call it as equity swap or there is going to be one party which will pay equity and the party will receive equity this kind of looks absurd but the benchmark or indices or underlying asset is going to be different it's like saying uh, I will pay returns on X stock and I would like to receive returns on Y stock I follow what I'm trying to say <coughs> now we will do a classic valuation example where a pricing and valuation example where one party will pay fixed one party will pay fixed and the other party will receive equity a party will pay fixed and receive equity now first question is how do you price such a swap so you price precisely the same way the way we've been pricing so far you will be given a schedule of the rates use the same formula 1 minus z4 1 2 3 4 that's it that is your answer so from the previous example can you give me the US rates give me the original ones not the revised rates 90 180 270 and 360 how much is that 110 huh? 150 basis point all right 180 200 okay 250 are these the original rates now let us say the notional happens to be 10 million okay now one party will pay fixed so pay fixed how much so we use exactly the same formula 1 minus z4 divided by z1234 and that rate came out to be 2.4 seven percentage okay this is a fixed rate so that's it pricing is done no rocket science here now when they say that other party will receive equity equity on which indices okay so let us say that indices happens to be uh, sensex it's a broad market equity indices in india okay now at time zero the level of sensex how much is it, is it currently 20 27 600 okay so this is the current level of sensex now first question price the swap done price of the swap is how much 2.47 second question let us say after after 30 days rates in the market have changed okay so what changes do we have now so now we have a 60 day rate 150 day rate 240 day rate and we have 330 day rate in your memory slots currently uh, do you have us rates or you uk rates from last example okay. so we'll anyways have to do this afresh so let us say 60 day rate is uh, Sixty-day rate is two hundred and twenty, then two seventy, then uh, three seventy and four hundred basis point. Okay, these are the rates. And today, on day thirty, the level of Sensex has become, let us say, twenty-nine three hundred. And with this piece of information, we would be required to value the swap. Are we okay? 
Now, this question I'm going to solve for you. This is kind of one of the easiest part of the swap reading to handle. All right, so this is a party that we're dealing with. This party has one asset and one liability. Okay, so asset and liability. What asset are we talking about? So it is going to receive equity. That means equity is the asset, correct? So you have to think that we have invested 10 million into the equity indices. So what would be the appreciation or depreciation onto our portfolio? And what is the liability? Liability is the fixed coupon bond. So we have to pretty much follow the same process. We have to find out the value of fixed coupon bond, find out the value of equity index and find out the difference. Now, how to find out the value of fixed coupon bond? So that part I'm going to plot here. So we have series of four coupon payments to be made. What are going to be those coupons? So those coupons are going to be 10 million into 2.47% divided by four, okay, into. First coupon will come to us in 60 days. Then next coupon 150 days then 240 days and 330 days. So we will find out new discount rates using these revised interest rate and multiply the coupon with Z1, Z2, Z3 and Z4. Plus, we will also receive that 10 million back, which we will have to discount for four periods. So 10 multiplied with Z4. And then we will add up this and this is going to be your liability in this question. Can you tell me how much is that coming to? Okay, now assuming all of you are able to get this 9.88, let us value the equity part now. Observe how equity valuation is done. When you got into the equity, level of Sensex was 27,600. From 27,600, it became 29,300. Can you find out in percentage term up to two decimal, what is the percentage increase? 6.15 so your sensex has increased by 6.15 percentage had you invested 10 million which is the notional amount into sensex then today the value of that equity portfolio would have become 10.615 that's it so this is the value of your equity portfolio it's that simple Okay, it's like, it's like I have a liability which is bond and I have an asset which is equity. So I put in 10 million into index, index appreciates in value. So my 10 million becomes 10.615. Now going forward, how are we going to do this? You don't have to calculate percentage. A faster way of doing it is, you will simply say 10 million into 29300 divided by 27. 600 and that will directly get you 10.615 so this 10.615 is your asset and put this into 8th memory slot 9.88 is your liability put this into 9th memory slot and then say 8 minus 9 and that's your answer and your answer is how much Point. Point. Seven two seven two. and is that a profit or loss profit so that's 0.7272 profit that this party has made and why was it able to make profit because both the things worked in its direction the value of liability from 10 million became 9.88 so that 0 0.12 benefit came on account of the liability and the value of asset became 10.615 so that 0.61 benefit came from equity total benefit 0.72